Hi everyone, this is Maria, and today we're going to my laboratory to make some fun pet rock monsters to add to your pet rock family. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need some rocks. You can either find unique shaped rocks outdoors or purchase a bag of rocks at your local craft store. I bought this bag of rocks at the Dollar Tree. You'll also need some different colors of paint. I use both acrylic paints and fabric puff paints. You'll need a variety of paint brushes, including a detail brush, a cup or container to wash paint brushes, wiggly eyes, and tacky glue. Before we get started, you'll need just a few more things. So not to get paint all over your table, you'll need something to cover and protect your table. I'm using a kitchen plastic trash bag to cover my work surface and something to use as a paint palette. A couple of suggestions are a paper plate or the bottom of an egg carton. Okay, so now we have our paint in our palette and the next thing I'm going to do is I went ahead and put some water in the cup and I'm going to go ahead and put my brushes in there. Also, you might want to go ahead and wet some paper towels and keep them handy. You can see I already wiped some paint off my fingers. And so, yeah, this will get messy, but it's fun messy. Okay, so I've opened my bag of rocks, and I'm going to pick a rock. I think I'm just going to start with this one right here, this oval stone. And so I'm just going to find my... I'm going to use a brush like that. Maybe this is going to be a ghost, or it could be a Dracula vampire. And so you're just going to put the paint on. You're going to need to put... A, about two or three layers of paint because the rocks are dark and you're going to have to cover that up and so it's that easy and so while we're waiting for this one to dry to put another coat on let's do another one okay so let's go ahead and paint this one green this is fun you guys I had so much fun painting my pet rock monsters I found that painting is just so relaxing and so I'm putting on that first coat the other thing what I did to inspire me was I have Netflix and so I was watching the Munsters, the TV show The Munsters. And so that was fun. And so you can get some ideas by watching um, The Munsters or some of your other favorite Halloween type shows, spooky shows. So I'm going to let that dry because you can see as I brush the darkness of the rock shows. So I want that to dry so I have a base coat to work with. This could actually be a Frankenstein with a flat top. So look for rocks that might have different and unique shapes. Okay, let's paint this one green also. Okay, I was going to use this green, but let's use a different green. I have this other green here I like that looks more of a monster green. Okay. It's a little lumpy because it's old. I've had it for a long time. You can buy these paints, these acrylic paints, at your local craft store. I've bought them, most of them, at Joanne Fabric and Crafts. And I also bought some at Michael's and at Hobby Lobby. And you know, you don't have to make the rocks exactly like I'm making them. You can just use this as inspiration and just make your own monster rocks. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. Because it's still August while I'm making this video, you can put them out on your patio, outdoors, on your porch or something or by a window, open window, to let them dry quicker. Just don't leave them out there that long because the paint will peel off like rubber, which I found out. So just leave them out there just for a couple of minutes. All right, so let's pick another rock while we're waiting for those to dry. They're smaller rocks, so you can have like pet rock uh, brothers and sisters. <laughs> and let's see, this one has kind of a unique feel to it. It's a little rough. Also, oh, I like this. I like that. See, it's got a chip. Don't let these deter you, you guys. They look really neat when they're painted. Let's paint this one. Gosh, let's paint it purple. So it's so exciting with Halloween coming up. It's like my favorite time of year. And I know it's some of yours, too. So I went ahead and put these rocks on a paper plate. I took them outside. There's a nice warm breeze out there. It's not too hot. And so I had them in the shade so they weren't getting direct sunlight. And so they dried very quickly. And so I just went ahead and put the second and third layers of paint on the rocks outside and brought them back in right now. So let's go ahead and flip them over now. And we're going to paint the back sides. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take them outside so they dry quickly. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put this white paint on the back of this rock and on this one right here. I do have some rocks that I already painted ahead of time, but I wanted to just show you the process. This is going to be an alien, a green alien. It's so much fun to go outside too and look for different shapes of rocks. I made a witch that I'll show you in a little bit. And I'm going to just take these outside right now and just let them dry so then I'll put a second and third coat of paint on them. I'll be right back. Okay, so now the rocks are painted on both sides. So let's go ahead and start making some pet monsters. So we're gonna make a ghost first and I'm going to use my finer brushes for detail. Just make some little ghost eyes. Just a little traditional ghost. And I need some more black paint. So there are the ghost eyes. And so, okay, I'm going to paint the mouth now. So I'm just going to paint like a little O for the mouth. And there you go. There's your first pet monster rock. Isn't that cute? And so let's go ahead and do another one. So this one right here I'm going to make into a Dracula. And so the first thing I'm going to do is to do that widow's peak. I think that's what they call it, isn't it? So you know how the hair goes down like this and like that. And then I'm just going to paint that in. And then we'll paint the back side of his head black. And then I'm going to paint the hair like this. And like that. I used to love to watch movies with Dracula when I was a kid. And I used to be so scared with the black and white movies. And you know, you look at them now, they're not that scary. But when you're a kid, they were pretty scary. Okay, so you can see Dracula has his hair. So let's give him some eyes now. So for Dracula's eyes, I'm going to use this red fabric paint. It's like a puff paint. And so I'm just going to make some red dots for his eyes. So first I'm going to, first I'm going to try it here just to make sure it doesn't leave a great big glob. So it's just gonna be like that. And so let's just go ahead and just gotta do it kinda steady there. There we go, he's got his red beady eyes. So now I'm going to give him some scary eyebrows. So I like to just practice a little bit Okay, I'm going to start from here, and I'm just going to do a quick stroke, just like that. And then I'm going to do one this way. There we go. So now that Dracula is coming back to life, let's give him a mouth with some fangs. So I'm just going to do a straight line, just like that. So let's just give him some fangs here up on top. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of blood dribbling from Dracula's mouth. So there's our Dracula pet rock monster. He looks really cute and spooky. Let's do our alien. So I'm going to give our alien some black eyes. So I'm going to move this down a little bit. I'm going to start at the bottom here and I'm going to go wider at the top and just like an almond shape or like a teardrop. Just like that and fill it in. So I messed up this eye a little bit and so when I was trying to make it a little bigger so if you don't like the way it's turning out use a wet paper towel and it should just wipe off. If some of the green paint comes off like this one did I'm just going to repaint it. So I'm just going to repaint that and I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to put another coat of paint over it. So here's the alien. I went ahead and repainted his eye and it looks a lot better now. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the hair on the Frankenstein and I'm just going to take some black and go all the way across the top, the flat part of the rock. It's okay if it goes over on the sides and you can see the paint is on the back because he's going to have black hair on the back. Okay, and so on the front of the rock we're going to give him some bangs now. So Frankenstein's hair is dry and I'm going to use this Scribbles fabric paint for the eyes. So I'm going to just go ahead and put the dots for his eyes. 
Uh, let's go ahead and give him some eyebrows. So I'm going to take my fine paintbrush and I'm going to give him some wiggly eyebrows. So now I'm going to give him a mouth and I'm just going to make a red line going across just like that. No Frankenstein has a scar. I don't have a lot of room to put it up at the top of the head so I'm just going to do a scar across his cheek. I think even Dr. Frankenstein would be proud of this monster scar. So this purple rock is going to be super easy. We're just going to glue this wiggly eye, the googly eye, on the rock. So I'm going to need some of my tacky glue. Okay, so I'm just going to apply some of this tacky glue onto the back of the wiggly eye or googly eye. And we're just going to glue it onto the rock, just like that. He looks like a really friendly monster, so I'm going to give him a smile. So this one reminds me of that Halloween song, The Purple People Eater. I just think he's so cute. So the next one I'm going to do is a sugar skull for the Day of the Dead, the Dia de los Muertos, which is the day after Halloween. And so I found this rock in my backyard. And so it's larger. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a white skull face on here. And I'm just going to start up here. I want some of the green to show and I'm just going to make a skull face. Sort of a skull shape. Doesn't have to be perfect. And with these more porous rocks, this is a rock, like I said, from outside, so it's not the polished rocks that you get in the package at your craft store. So sometimes you have to sort of dab it to go into the pores of the rock. So now let's make the face of the sugar skull. So I want to give it some eyes some dark eyes. So basically the nose is going to be the shape of an upside down heart. So I'm going to turn the skull upside down because it will make it easier for me to draw a heart that way. So that's the beginning of our sugar skull. So I'm going to take this outside and let it dry before I continue. So my sugar skull is ready to paint. And so if you need some ideas for how to paint a sugar skull, you can go onto Google and type in the search field sugar skull image. And so a bunch of images will show up and that will give you some ideas. And so I'm going to put some pink inside the eyes. Just like that, just like a little flower just some little petals. And so while that dries, let's go ahead and do a flower on the forehead of the skull. I like this aqua color, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. I'm just going to paint some flower petals to sort of make these little loops, and then you can fill them in afterwards. So now that I have my flower painted, I'm going to go ahead and use the Scribbles fabric paint for the irises of the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and dot here first and then dot the middle of the eyes. I like that. That's cute. Then I'm taking just a little bit of pink paint and I'm going to put it at the center of the flower. I'm also going to take some green paint and just put a little bit here on the flower petals just to bring the flower petals out a little bit. So I'm going to take the aqua paint again and I'm going to put little dots all the way around the eyes. So just take your time doing that. So the center of the flower is dried now so I'm going to go ahead and put a dot of yellow paint right in the middle of the flower. So I'm going to use some black paint to make the sugar skull mouth and I'm going to practice going across here that's kind of thick. So I want it to be a little bit thinner. So let's go ahead and put one line across on top, the bottom, and on the sides. There's one line, two lines. Oh, that's a little thick, but I'm just going to leave it. And so then I'm going to put a line down the center. I'm going to try to make a really thin line here. And then I'm going to do a couple of lines going down. There we go. So for the next step, you're just going to put some dots going all the way around the white paint, around the skull. And so you can use one color or two colors, multiple colors, it's up to you. And so I'm just going to put some dots. Let me again test. And I'm going to start at the top, just like that. 
and leave enough space if you're going to use another color, a second color. And this is what it looks like with the aqua and the pink dots. I was thinking, let's put some dots. How about some purple dots around the mouth or the nose? So while we're adding more color to our sugar skull, let's go ahead and add some purple to this flower. So here's our Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos, Pet Rock Sugar Skull. So now that we're through with most of the messy painting, let's go ahead and make these super simple pet rock monsters. You're going to need your tacky glue and the wiggly eyes or googly eyes. So I found the eyes that I want to use for each rock and it just makes me smile because I'm looking down at these rocks with these eyes and they're like staring back at me and it's like these rocks are starting to take on their personality. And so I'm going to use the tacky glue and go ahead and glue the eyes to the rocks. And here they are all done. Aren't they cute? And if you want your pet rocks to glow in the dark, you can add some of this haunted glow. I found this at Hobby Lobby last year in 2014. So you might want to call and ask if they carry it still. I found it in the Halloween aisle. You can also find acrylic paints that glow. I saw some at Joann's the other day and I believe they were Martha Stewart paints. And it's going to go on clear. Even if it looks like it's too white, don't worry because it will turn clear. And so just brush on about two or three coats. And you can also add the haunted glow to the pet rocks with the eyes. Just go around the eyes. So I wanted to show you the sugar skull glowing in the dark. For other pet rock monster ideas, I'd like to show you this witch I made. I found the rock out in my backyard. The hat is from felt and the hair is from a fluffy chenille stem. She's even got a wart on her chin. And here's a mad scientist. You can also make a pet rock ghost and a pet rock mini ghost. And you can use the flatter rocks to make tombstones for your pet rock cemetery. R.I.P. Rock and Peace. So thanks for watching everyone. And these pet rock monsters would like to wish you a happy Halloween. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.